Beloved ones, never before have you had such a wondrous opportunity to serve humanity and the Creator. You are at a crossroads in your evolutionary process, for the world you have known in the past is slowly fading away. As divine sparks of the Creator, you are given a great gift, a treasure chest of Creator essence, to use in any way you desire. You began this lifetime with a portion of adamantian particles of light, the essence of the Supreme Creator, stored within your sacred heart. There was also a reserve tucked away within your root chakra, within the sacred fire seed atom, which is sometimes called the Kundalini and portrayed as a coiled serpent. You have always had access to the sacred fire stored within your sacred heart. However, you have to remember how to use your keys to the kingdom in order to ignite and effectively use this power source of the divine light. The Kundalini or serpent fire is a different matter for you must clear 51% of the distorted energy you have created in the past in order to tap into this potent reservoir, a divine creator light. We offer you a golden opportunity. Beloved Masters, once again, we the messengers and servants of our Father, Mother, God, sound the clarion call for all the mighty forces that comprise the legions of light to come forth and unite. You who have been scattered throughout the universe over these many past ages are now gathered here on the blessed planet Earth to assist in the birth of a new age and a new reality. You have created and built a sense of separation, giving your power to those who gain strength by dividing and conquering. That time is past, dear ones. It is time to claim mastery over your lower nature and then begin the process of reuniting with all the myriad parts of yourself as a harmonious, loving vehicle of light. You must reestablish a harmonious communion with your mental body you must return to the realization that stored within your brain structure is a fully functioning perfect unit of wisdom and power that is called your sacred mind. It is imperative that you calm and restore your emotional nature so that it is centered within your solar heart center. You must stop looking outside yourself for validation of self-worth, love, success and truth. You have within you all that is necessary for spiritual awareness, happiness, abundance and yes for ascension. You have stored away within your sacred heart your own divine I am presence, your own individualized God consciousness. It is not out there. It is within you. At the urging of your ego, desire, personality, many of you have become enamored with the sensations of power and acquisition. Indeed, you came as co-creators to build, perfect and enjoy the material realm on the beautiful planet Earth. But somewhere along the way, you became so caught up in your accomplishments, possessing, owning, and hoarding, that this became your measure of love and success. If you were powerful and influential enough, you would be worthy of love. Or if you had the greatest storehouse of riches and possessions, you would be admired and respected. Focusing all your energies on these external manifestations creates only momentary satisfaction, as well as constant frustration and dissatisfaction. What happens if your riches and power are taken from you? What happens if you lose your possessions? What do you identify with then? It is if you have lost all that represents who and what you are. This is why so many lose all desire for life, some even going to the extreme of taking their own life because, from their perception, all that they loved and treasured has been taken away, along with their sense of being worthy of love and respect. You must learn to focus on the inner world or the sanctuary of the soul. The soul, the physical vessel, and particularly the mind, have their own rhythmic cycles and agendas. The soul's desire is focused on becoming enlightened. The mind is focused on attaining and retaining information. The physical body is focused on experiencing via the senses. Humanity is constantly experiencing cycles of growth, stagnation, decay, which make way for a new cycle of growth and expansion. The master turns inward and strives for an enhanced quality of life, while unawakened souls seek outwardly for stimulus and gratification via pleasurable physical sensation and material possessions. Love, as an external focus, exterior to yourself, will always bring a sense of vulnerability, always needing constant validation by someone or something. Love, as an internal focus projected outward, is a constant flow of self-assurance, of self-acceptance, always striving to incorporate and project more of this blissful feeling of unity and harmony with all creation. Love is the essence of all creation. 
Love is contained with the adamantine particles of light, which pour forth from the heart center of the Supreme Creator in great streams of cosmic life force substance, in its never-ending desire to experience more of itself. It is a blessed gift to be used by all creation, at all levels, from the highest, most powerful, to the lowest, most diminished. However, there are conditions. It is your birthright to bring forth your own unique self-expression through loving co-creation and harmony with the divine blueprint, which is always in perfect accordance with the grand design of the Creator. How loving are your creations, dear one? What kind of temple have you created for your soul? Do you identify only with your body and then, through constant judgment and focus on your imperfections in comparison with others, fight an ongoing battle, ultimately assuring failure and validation of your distorted point of view? A love-hate relationship with yourself that keeps you frustrated and mired in self-inflicted misery. What kind of world have you built with your constant thought forms? What kind of example have you been for your mate, your children, loved ones? Do you project a sense of pride in self, an awareness of how precious the gift of life is? Do you set an example by striving to perfect the myriad of facets within yourself? There is a path open for each of you to follow, no matter at what station or circumstance you may find yourself. A golden opportunity waiting to enable you to assume your power, to tap into your creativity, bring to the fore that many latent abilities you have stored deep within your memory banks. And now, as never before, we are close by, observing, waiting to assist, encourage, create the miracles, smooth the way, and assist you in moving onward and upward. It is time for all of you as brave bearers of light to break through and cross the boundaries of discrimination, disempowerment, and limitation. We dare you as women of spirit to become beacons and examples of masterful m women among men. We implore you as men of valor and integrity to become compassionate men among women. By this we mean erase and eliminate the lines and barriers between you, offering and accepting the gifts and attributes of each other as you integrate those sorely needed energies into your mental and emotional vehicles. Your truth lies in your level of awareness and your assimilation of the cosmic gift of God consciousness. You must integrate the knowledge you acquire, and then you must demonstrate you have the ability to live by that new level of wisdom. You are judged by your own higher self and your divine presence as to your readiness to proceed along the spiral of initiation. We have told you that the path of ascension is a very solitary, secular process. Your initiations or traversing the stages of the subplanes of consciousness are designed specifically for you and you alone, for you are like no other. And yet, precious ones, each gain you make that lifts you another fraction or a step along the narrow path of mastership also lifts humanity as a whole. You are in the process of becoming the one in essence, but at one with all. One of the most wondrous gifts that will be available to you when you step onto the path of ascension is to tap into the bliss state of the higher dimensions. Once you have achieved that goal, you are forever seeking it again, for you have gained a glimpse of your true state of being. Beloved, as you integrate more adamantian particles of God consciousness within your sacred heart, you will begin to feel a state of bliss more and more. You will feel a fullness and expansive power of love, and at times you will feel as if your heart is overflowing with this divine elixir of life. You may tap into the realms of bliss while in meditation, especially if you meditate while in your crystal pyramid. However, your ultimate goal should be to attain the bliss state while functioning in your daily life. That state is called being in the world, but not of it. Envision your guardian angel perched on your shoulders as you go about your daily task. Stay centered within your sacred heart, so that you are constantly aware of the spark of divine love light that is blazing within. When you can do that, you will be well on your way to creating your own private heaven on earth. The law of the circle ensures that the vibrational patterns you send forth will be returned to you along with an accumulated measure of similarly qualified energy or vibrations of the same frequency patterns. You are the center of an energy vortex that is made up of a circle loop of vibrational patterns that you have projected out into the world of matter via your solar power center. Your solar plexus is aptly named, for just as the earth and humanity receive cosmic energy from the sun of your solar system, each of you also radiates life force energy from your own solar power center. For a moment, envision yourself as a central focus of your world. 
You are a son, S-U-N, of God. You are a power source and your thoughts, actions, and intentions radiate forth from you in a loop of energy that connects with like energy. That energy magnifies and manifests in the world of cause and effect and then returns to you, reinforcing your picture of reality. Your body absorbs a portion of that energy, creating pain and suffering or joy and blessing depending on the frequencies. The remainder flows out behind you, creating the other loop of your infinity pattern. While the residual higher frequency energy gradually flows into your personal wheel of creation, you are constantly adding to your personal prison of negative, impacted energy or your vehicle of light and your ever-expanding self-awareness. Each of you has the ability to contribute something personal and unique to the divine blueprint now being designed for the future of humanity and the earth. You have been given an extraordinary gift by the Creator the unprecedented privilege of participating in the creation of your own destiny. Each of you has the potential of becoming a glorified mortal. You are becoming spirit-infused mortals which assure you immortal status. You are multifaceted and you have consciousness on many more levels than you can comprehend at this time. You are an immortal soul with a mortal mind and body, and you are in the process of soul expansion and light infusion. It is time for you to step to the fore, take a stand and be heard. Begin where you are at the highest level of understanding, seen through eyes filtered by love, feeling with heart filled with a compassion and functioning with a mind that is not clouded by guilt, fear or judgment. This is the way you will find your truth, beloved ones. That is the way that your world and reality will be filled to overflowing with love, joy and abundance. That is the way of the master, the way of truth, the way back home. Beloved beacons of light, you cannot comprehend how powerful you are becoming. You, the new world servers, are creating a mastermind, mass consciousness, which is gradually infiltrating and changing the old third, fourth dimensional collective consciousness belief patterns, thereby assisting others to release their deeply ingrained fears, sense of shame, unworthiness, guilt, and impoverishment. As you expand your awareness and tap into the higher dimensional frequencies, and then make a commitment to live your truth as you know it, you begin a process of creating a mass belief structure of higher refined frequencies which will join with the light infused patterns of others thereby radiating the vibrations of love light out into the world of cause as you join with others of like mind you create a synergy that expands exponentially into an ever widening circle of refined group consciousness we honor you for your bravery we know that your journey has been long and arduous however we tell you this sweet friends your time of pain and suffering is gradually becoming a thing of the past, a memory that will slowly fade away. The time of miracles is at hand. Each day we eliminate more of the restrictive energies between us as we dissolve more of the negativity that swirls in the ethers. We give you our assurance that soon you will have your validation as to what the coming age of greatness will be like. And you will know without any doubt the integral part you have played. I was with you when you first stepped onto planet Earth so many ages ago, and I will remain to guide, inspire, and sustain you until you are ready to return to your true estate in the glorious realms of our Father, Mother God. I am forever your friend, guardian, and companion in spirit. I am Archangel Michael. So be it.